Are you gonna? Are you in? I'm not. I'm not gonna throw up. I know two paramedics (laughs) who live close-ish. Can I make the call because I feel? Maybe yes. Yeah. Maybe you could. Maybe yes. Rick, another one. I know. She's new. She's new. She'll be fine. It's Rachel. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you would know that during this quarantine, I learned how to cook. And if you knew me before, I literally couldn't cook at all. Like if I made spaghetti, catch on fire. Boil water, burnt to crisp. Didn't know it was possible, two crisps. So because I was able to learn something so big during quarantine, I was like, huh, what else can I learn? So I decided that I want to learn how to do a mukbang. I've tried it. Super hard, they're super awkward. I don't know what to talk about. I don't even know how to eat like while talking. So I brought the king of mukbangs, Josh Peck. Wow, what an intro. Welcome to my kingdom. <laughs> I'm your majesty and I'll make you What just are those a, people that like have the hats? A jester. I'm a jester. Yeah, you're a fun jester. jester. But when we're done with this, you might just, maybe not a queen, but you might be a, a princess. I'm gonna sneeze. Let it go. <sighs> it passed, that's so upsetting. Oh, I got it. Past two. Oh yeah. my god. Past two. Worst. Do you want to know the history of the mukbang? Do you actually know it? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm so ready. This is what I've heard in some respect. Mukbang is a Korean word and it means like uh, eating show. Feel free to shred me in the comments because I know I'm going to get something wrong here. I'm just trying my best. But I think the idea of where it stemmed from was like, it was an incredibly hardworking culture where people were like really, you know, studying at school or working at their job. Like everyone just works really hard and they would come home and sometimes people would feel lonely. Me, in quarantine. And they would turn on a show and watch someone eating really close to the camera and they would feel like they were having dinner with somebody. Oh, oh my god, that's so much more sad than I thought it was. I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing this for you. Yeah, this is for you guys to I'm feel a, less lonely. <laughs> I'm a good person. You're so nice. And sure, the money's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess there are steps to this. The first step is, like, what food is best for mukbangs? Wow, okay, we're really getting into it. I'm ready. The best food, if you're mukbanging and you're happy, the food is is less important. But truly, I think the staple food is like a noodly, like noodle saucy, like okay. and very close and with some slurping, like an unintentional ASMR as well. Interesting. Mm. Gross. Yeah, super gross. Oh. So like Chinese food? Chinese food is very good. Okay, let's, let's post it something. Yeah. Noodles. We're going to get specific. All versions. A chow mein. A chow fun could be fun. Okay. You know what? Both. Yeah. Great. Great. This is a big channel. We're doing great. We can afford that. <laughs> you know what's great in a mukbang is a Easter egg. Like something that you're not expecting. Okay. I'm going to add something that you're not expecting. They're all going to be Chinese food, so I guess it can't be that <laughs> shocking. What's a shepherd's pie doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and now we wait. Wait, 20 minutes? I guess we could sit in silence. Wanna see pictures of my kid? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. I could show you pictures of my dog. I know he's right there, but like, in pictures. I was almost sure he was going to attack my leg. He was. Food's here! Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I'll just talk to them. Hey, guys. It's Josh Peck, King of Mukbangs. Um, just waiting for some delicious Chinese food. Wow! <laughs> this is great! The thing I've been doing lately because of paranoia is every single time I order food, I'll have the dirty hands before I wash them that touch the bag, and I'll pour everything on plates, and then I will wash my hands. 20 seconds of washing my hands. Happy birthday, twice. ABCs, twice. We're different people. Wow. We got string beans. Jesus. I'm sorry. I didn't know it came with so many. You are going to need like 15 more plates. <laughs> this is not a good system. <laughs> okay, wait. Hear me out. You can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> Pop the top. Live your life. That's chow fun. This is chow fun. Thicker, broader noodle, flatter noodle. Thicker? What is the difference between chow mein and chow fun? Chow mein, thinner noodle. I, I think it's low mein. Lo mein, middle noodle. <laughs> <laughs> so in mukbangs, do you eat 
everything, or do you save a lot of it for later? You save it. That's why you keep it in the containers. Keep it in the containers. You give it out when you're done. Sometimes you just kind of see if someone else is hungry in your close proximity. When you were a kid, did you ever eat just rice? Like, would you just get that with soy sauce? No. All right. Is that what you would do? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is chow mein with veggies and fried rice. That's a lunch special. First of all, we love a deal. <laughs> There's a lot more lunch specials that I did not get. I don't um, see this friendship ending anytime soon, so there's, we can work towards that. Yeah, I always love getting the silver because this is how many people they think they're feeding right now. This Your is legs. spring rolls. Okay. Hey, let's talk about the differences between spring and egg rolls. Egg rolls are a nice crisp, spring rolls are a, a nice cr not a full crisp, like a cr Spring rolls feel healthy, like spring, like you're getting in shape for summer. They're not winter rolls. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, I guess the plan is separating some from mm. me, and then you take the rest out of the containers. Have at it. I'm just gonna watch you and support you. Thank you so much. Now, while you're doing this, I'm just gonna pop a sauce open. We love sauce. You know who's not into sauce? Trisha Paytas. Really? Which is fine, you know, we all make mistakes. <laughs> Man, who decided that these like delicious doughy pillows would be a good, a good combo? Cause they deserve all the awards. They did a good job existing and being created. I'm just really into carbohydrates. You? I love carbohydrates. You said moderation is incorrect in this situation? Yes, live. Do you like get sick after these? Uh, only always. <laughs> Okay. I'll tell you where I've gotten sick was um, hot chicken mukbang. They put a dry spice on it that is so delicious, but can be so breathtakingly spicy. Oh, really? I thought at one point it had burned a hole in my stomach. I wasn't well for two weeks. Is this chow fun too? Yes. Ah. And I'm gonna take two of these. The other two are for you. I need water and I need to wash my hands. I guess I should probably wash mine too. You might want to put on like a hoodie or just something not white. Are you saying I'm going to spill? I'm saying that spilling shouldn't be a worry. Okay. You know what's a, what else is smart? Having a dog while mukbanging? No cleanup. That's true. Just don't get the garlic stuff down and anything with um onions. If I drop anything, just know I'm an idiot. So please don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> don't you forget it. <laughs> We're here now, we've made it. Yes, you're in a hoodie. I guess the question would be, now what? Let your instincts take over. Enjoy it. This isn't the way you'd eat on a first date. Bold of you to assume I've been on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like a, oh my gosh, I love TikTok too. Mm. I'm full. Oh my God, you've been to Ibiza as well? Crazy. <laughs> this is, you're alone. Ish. You're, <laughs> you're in the middle of an awesome show on Netflix. You're in episode six of like season two. And you're like, I'm just gonna eat all this food and get to episode 12 tonight. Okay, let's go. But also describe. Describe so the food. Walk us through, what, what is that? Can I watch you do it really quickly? I learned through watching. Got it. Experiencing. Mm, this is chow fun here. And let me tell you, it lives up to the name. <laughs> okay. This is, I see the gla the gleam of the lights under toes on the- <laughs> Yeah! There she goes. Growing up for me, Chinese food was like a, not a special occasion thing. This was like maybe on the weekend. Okay. Something like, this was a treat. So my dad had an obsession with supporting local businesses. Mm. So there was like some Chinese food restaurant that ended up closing down because he, my sad dad couldn't single-handedly support it. <laughs> but every single day, we would eat dinner there. Really? Yeah, every day. Uh, great. It was so good. So what was your go-to order? Um, so, um, how did this part work? The talking while eating? Yeah. And mukbangs are a judgment-free zone. So I'm supposed to talk while I'm eating. Like food in my mouth is better. Oh yeah. Let me try it this way then before I make my statement. My go to order. Nice. I would say an egg roll, lo mein, mm. ribs. They have these like Ooh. teriyaki ribs. Lemon chicken. <sighs> Lemon chicken. Killer. Mm. They, Great. They did such a good job. And they also taught me how to fold a napkin because I was mm. there so often. Okay, perfect. Today we will be making a hat. I don't want to cover up anything on the table, so I will use myself as a table. So you take the napkin and fold it in half, obviously. How are you single? <laughs> Some of the skills. After that, you take the napkin and fold it the opposite way on the other end. Then you flip the napkin over, 
put it like this. You fold it right there. I'm really good at describing things. You're gonna put the neg the little thingy into this thing, wow, and then you're gonna what's time for that. I did. <laughs> it was seven to like eleven. Every night. Yeah. Weren't there other local businesses? Wow. A hat, and you can wear it. Just took a picture. I'm so honored. Thank you so much. <laughs> so oh, no. Well, we knew that would happen. We knew that would happen. That was incredible. Thank you so much. What's your favorite food? I would say currently, it's a brownie that is then later layered with marshmallow fluff and then layered with a peanut butter rice crispy treat and drizzles in chocolate. Wow. Does it count as food? Yes. Yes, it does. Sure. Did you create that? So I had it when I was seven and then would not stop thinking about it ever since. So like wow. a few weeks ago, I just, I made it. Where did you have it? In my kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know. It was like just an event. You've got the twin dumps right here. Sometimes you gotta order both. Yeah. I always over order things because I like tasting everything. Yes. Like to me, that's success. It is. It's not about Range Rovers. You have one of those too, but it's not the point. It's about being able to order crunchy and also soft textured foods in the same meal. Mm -hmm. When I go to dinner and someone's like, should we just order a bunch of plates to share? <laughs> I want to try all of it. Every time I go to a restaurant with my anyone in my family, that's the mindset we have. Luckily, my dad is like, he's got like a dad tummy. If I can't finish something, he eats everything. Cute. Which is perfect for me until I moved out of my parents' house and was ordering food and no one was eating the food that I left over. Right, I get I was that. like, what am I supposed to do with this? Clean up crew. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your channel? Because um, I feel like you're good at so many different things. One day, we'll find a specific thing. But I just like doing everything, so I do do everything. I feel like a big emphasis is like comedy, but then also like skits, sketches, but then beauty. I did life hacks for a while too. Now I feel like the only videos I've been doing really recently are like random makeup videos or like swapping outfits with people. Mm. But now, uh, maybe mukbangs. This is a new lane for you. A new lane. I haven't seen James Charles eat anything recently. <laughs> we you. Have, I, I text James, I'm like, come over here. We're doing a mukbang. I'd love to meet him. He's fit, you have, he's lovely. I'm sure. I know that within the YouTube community, there are probably people that aren't cool. I've never met him. Yeah, I haven't met a not cool person yet either. I only meet cool people. Mm -hmm. We just attract such good people. But I would say, after a mukbang, don't have nothing planned. You need to reflect. <laughs> you need to sit and think about your life choices. Now, some people say that Chinese food can be a little salty. That perhaps, like, you might be like, retain a little water after. I'm always retaining water, <laughs> so it's not a consideration. I'm also lactose intolerant, so I Ooh, refuse cute. to not eat dairy. I will always eat dairy, I just take those little things. Lactate pills? Love them. I mean, they're gross, but I love that I don't get a tummy ache after. Do you, now you're a cereal person. I love mm -hmm. cereal. Does the audience know this? Do you guys, if you follow me on like anyone, anything else besides YouTube. They know. They know. What are you using to eat your cereal like with? Milk so, alternative? Oh, I was gonna be like, I use a bowl and a spoon. Classic. I use almond milk. Me too. You really? Are you lactose intolerant? I'm Jewish, so. <laughs> Have you ever had rice milk? Sure. That's what I had all of growing up. Rice milk was hot. Rice Soy milk, milk was hot. Have you begun getting full yet? Yeah, I'm there. So do you just keep going or do you stop? No, that's that's the dedication. That's the commitment. Okay. <laughs> okay. When's the last time you threw up from overeating? <laughs> Maybe like two weeks ago. <laughs> really? I can't stop. I'll have to have the friends that are near me whenever I'm eating be like, it's not worth it. Don't. And do you listen? I've been really good recently, ish. Good for you. I have only thrown up once and it was after a Thanksgiving meal in 2013 and I threw up in my mom's parking garage. Oh. Here's the thing, she made monkey bread that year. <laughs> You ever had monkey bread? I've heard of it. Wait, it's so describe good. it. Maybe I have. It's basically just chocolate bread. Have you ever had like chocolate babka? Yes. It's basically that. But it's like more concentrated, more sugary, more chocolatey, and like you pull it apart and it's in pieces and it's in like a bunt. Oh, ooh. It is so good. Ooh. We had too many different influences of flavor at that Thanksgiving, because I, I feel like my mom made a whole Thanksgiving dinner, and then monkey bread? And then eggplant parmesan. What? Are we at Epcot Center mm -hmm. and at Disney World? Be nice to yourself. You're new to this. <laughs> it's okay. 
Are you done? Are you gonna Are you gonna follow my lead? Cause you don't wanna make me feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm proud of you. So this is a mukbang. I was worried I wouldn't know what to talk about. Maybe if you invited someone else over. <laughs> but I am a chatterbox. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you gonna, are you in I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I know two paramedics <laughs> who live close-ish. Let me just see what they're doing. No, I'm not, I'm not at that point. Can I make the call because I feel... I'm good, maybe yes. Maybe yes, you yeah. could, maybe you could, okay. maybe yes. Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Another one, I know. She's new, she's new. She'll be fine. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here with me. This was incredible. Can I help you clean up? I mean, you can take whatever food you want. You would be the cleanup. I feel full. Don't feel bad. I never felt bad. <laughs> I just feel full.